everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So guys, the Japanese have done it again. They've made a really amazing discovery on how to detect cancer in much of its earlier stages. So basically what they discovered, because look guys, in order to diagnose cancer, usually there has to be so many cancer cells and it's really not very good for early detection. Plus it can be kind of expensive in order to be able to detect cancer and sometimes it can even be rather invasive. And what the Japanese discovered is a correlation between parasites and cancer. Now, this is the way that they ultimately discovered it. They found out that these parasites literally like to feed on cancer. It doesn't mean that they're eating them and then the cancer is going to go away. It's just something that they like to feed on. I personally think that there's some type of relationship between parasites and cancer and all these worms. And not just for cancer. I think personally, this is just my own personal opinion that we're going to discover more and more as time goes by, that there is a correlation between parasites and a lot of other diseases. But what they ultimately discovered, guys, is a way to be able to detect cancer in very very early stages uh, just by simply a urine test. It's going to be really simple. It's going to be non-invasive. It's going to be very inexpensive. And it's already so effective that what they're doing is they already approved it. The insurance companies in Japan are definitely already approving it and are going to pay for it. And it's already going to start this year, guys, 2020. It's already going to be happening this year. The science and this technology is already out. Now, the one thing that nobody's really talking about, in fact, is this is just my opinion, guys. So, you know, back to the, back to the hydrogen thing, because in my opinion, using hydrogen in collaboration with the, the technology in regards to understanding parasites, worms, and cancer, and even other diseases, I think that's one thing that sometimes holds hydrogen back. There is even some research where they've done tests on hydrogen with for like certain diseases, for example, in the liver that is induced by parasites. And there's a positive effect because parasites release a lot of toxin, guys, a lot of free radical damage, things that cause inflammation, and just, just things of this nature. It also makes it difficult for parasites to live um, in your body, but it doesn't mean that it's just going to kill parasites. So I really like lately, like my big thing right now is you got to kill the parasites, got to kill the worms, and then hydrogen can even go to another level as far as what it can do for you. I've already seen amazing things from using hydrogen, but I, I'm really beginning to see a great, something that we can do that's even greater by eliminating parasites and bugs and then using something like hydrogen. Of course, there's gonna be other things that I also personally would implement and maybe I'll go more into them later, but we're talking about more things about overcoming you know, deficiencies, proper diet, you know, proper exercise, and things of this nature. But two really big, simple things. Two things that can really make a huge impact on your health. You know, the clean water with hydrogen and getting rid of the parasites and the bugs, guys. Super huge. I think we're going to hear about it more in the future. At this time, nobody's talking about it. I'm kind of the only guy talking about this right now. But I think it's going to be a huge game changer. Come, you know, obviously 2020 is going to be really big in discovering stuff about parasites and cancer and these worms and probably more like antiparasitics and dewormers and things of that nature. So guys, if you found the video helpful, as usual, give the video a thumbs up. Please support the channel. Don't forget to share this information, guys. There's a lot of people out there who don't know um, whether about this new information about parasites and how to detect it and how simple it can be because this can help a lot of people. And of course, hydrogen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get the notifications when I put on my next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, guys. Stay tuned because I got a bunch of other great information I'm going to bring your way. In fact, I've been hearing some other really great information uh, from Japan, a lot of other interesting discoveries I'm going to share with you guys. And that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time on the next one.